Astya is the Sanskrit term for non stealing. It is a virtue in Jainism. The practice of Astya demands that one must not steal, nor have the intent to steal another's property through action, speech, and thoughts. Astya is considered as one of five major vows of Jainism. It is also considered one of ten forms of temperance virtuous self in Indian philosophy. Etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The word, astya, is a compound derived from Sanskrit language, where a refers to non and staya refers to practice of stealing or something that can be stolen. Thus, astya means non-stealing. Topic: <laughs> Jainism. In Jainism, it is one of the five vows that all sravakas and sravikas householders as well as monastics must observe. The five transgressions of this vow as mentioned in the Jain text, Tattvath Sutra are, "...prompting another to steal, receiving stolen goods, underbuying in a disordered state, using false weights and measures, and deceiving others with artificial or imitation goods." This is explained in the Jain text, Sarvathasiddhi as translated by S.A. Jane, prompting a person to steal, or prompting him through another or approving of the theft, is the first transgression. The second is receiving stolen goods from a person, whose action has neither been prompted nor approved by the recipient. Receiving or buying goods otherwise than by lawful and just means is an irregularity or a transgression. An attempt to buy precious things very cheaply in a disordered state is the third transgression. Cheating others by the use of false weights and measures in order to obtain more from others and give less to others, is the fourth transgression. Deceiving others with artificial gold, synthetic diamonds and so on, is the fifth transgression. These five are the transgressions of the vow of non-stealing. <inaudible> Hinduism Astya is defined in Hindu scripts as the abstinence, in one's deeds or words or thoughts, from unauthorized appropriation of things of value from another human being. It is a widely discussed virtue in ethical theories of Hinduism. For example, in the Yoga Sutras 2.30, Astya (non-stealing) is listed as the third yamas or virtue of self-restraint, along with ahimsa (non-violence), satya (non-falsehoods), truthfulness, brahmacharya (sexual chastity in one's feelings and actions), and aparigraha (non-possessiveness, non-craving). Astya is thus one of the five essential restraints yamas, the don'ts, in Hinduism, that with five essential practices niyamas, the dos, are suggested for right, virtuous, enlightened living. <laughs> Discussion Astya in practice, states Patricia Corner, implies to not steal, not cheat, nor unethically manipulate others' property or others for one's own gain. Astya as virtue demands that not only one not steal through one's action, one shouldn't want to encourage cheating through speech or writing, or want to cheat even in one's thinking. 
Smith states that the virtue of astia arises out of the understanding that all misappropriation is an expression of craving and a feeling of lack of compassion for other beings. To steal or want to steal expresses lack of faith in oneself, one's ability to learn and create property. To steal another's property is also stealing from one's own potential ability to develop. The sutras reason that misappropriation, conspiring to misappropriate or wanting to misappropriate, at its root reflects the sin of lova, bad greed, moha, material delusion, or krodha, bad anger. Gandhi held ahimsa as essential to the human right to life and liberty without fear, astia as human right to property without fear. Astia follows from ahimsa, in Gandhi's views, because stealing is a form of violence and injury to another person. Astia is not merely theft by action, but it includes theft by intent and theft by manipulation. Persistent exploitation of the weak or poor is a form of astia in one's thought. Topic. Related concepts Dana, that is charity to a deserving person without any expectation in return, is a recommended niyama in Hinduism. The motive behind Dana is reverse to that of stealing from others. Dana is a complementary practice to the yamas restraint of astia. Topic. Difference from a paragraha Astya and a paragraha are two of several important virtues in Hinduism and Jainism. They both involve interaction between a person and material world, either as property, fame or ideas, yet astya and a paragraha are different concepts. Astia is the virtue of non-stealing and not wanting to appropriate, or take by force or deceit or exploitation, by deeds or words or thoughts, what is owned by and belongs to someone else. A paragraha, in contrast, is the virtue of non-possessiveness and non-clinging to one's own property, non-accepting any gifts or particularly improper gifts offered by others, and of non-avarice, non-craving in the motivation of one's deeds, words and thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> 